Hi guys, I'm Valerie. Welcome to the studio. In today's lesson, I will teach you how to make custom cording that can be applied to your box cushions or your throw cushions or for that matter, any item that you're working on that needs piping the two things that we need to make our custom piping are the cord and fabric or if you can get bias tape that correlates with your project then you can buy your bias tape and then you won't need to cut your fabric to make the bias tape and i'll show you how to cut the fabric to make the bias tape However, let me just open this. This is how the bias tape is. So it comes like this. It's already stitched on a bias. And you basically put your cord in your fabric. And then you stitch along the cord to make your custom piping. However, if you can't find bias tape that coordinates with your project, let's show you how to cut your fabric to make your bias tape so you can then make your custom piping so i have a piece of fabric here and i'm gonna be drawing on the left side because i will be using taylor's chalk to make the lines where we will be cutting the fabric so sometimes when you see even store-bought piping and it looks like this it's all crinkly that is because they did not use bias fabric when you use your bias fabric or the bias tape that you buy your piping should come out smooth it should not look crinkly like this one does to get your bias pieces of fabric what you will need to do is to cut your fabric on the diagonal and then after we get the strips we'll go ahead and stitch them together and i'll show you how to stitch them together here for the lesson i will be using a quarter inch cord therefore my strips do not have to be more than two inches wide so usually what i do is get a ruler that is just about as wide as i want my strip to be so in, in so doing it makes your job easier because what i'll do is i'll put the ruler down and i'll use my tailor's chalk and i'll draw on both sides of the ruler then i'll take it up and line it up and then i'll keep drawing all my lines now it will get to a point when the ruler might be too short so this is what i do okay i'll turn the fabric around so you can actually see what i'm doing so i line up the inside edge of my ruler here against this line I'll go ahead use my tailor's chalk to draw the line to as far as i can go and then i'll just move my ruler line up the ruler between the two marks and keep drawing there we go we'll do it again line up the ruler draw to the point where we can draw to and then move this up line it up and finish drawing and then we'll go ahead and cut our pieces out okay so i'm going to stop there because i don't need to cut any more to show you how to finish up the piping the best foot to use on your sewing machine to do your custom piping is your zipper foot if you don't have a zipper foot then you can just use your regular stitching foot 
to do the piping. And what I'll do is do part of what I'm doing with the regular foot and do part with the zipper foot so you can see how I do both. Now we are ready to use our strips of fabric to make our bias tape that we will in turn use to make our piping. What we do is put right sides together across each other just like so as though we are making a T. Now if you want to you can just put a pin or two in just to keep your pieces of fabric together. And then our next step will be to stitch from the top here on the diagonal to the bottom here where the fat the pieces of fabric intersect so we have our t together like this what we'll now do is stitch from here to here so we stitch on the diagonal across the pieces of fabric take our pins out and I'll cut off the excess fabric here and cut off the excess fabric here and this is what we have so we have started to put our bias tape together and so I'll go ahead and I'll attach another piece just to show you again how it's done and then we'll cover our cord to make the piping so we have this one on the table here. We'll put the other one across just like so. Like we're making a T. You can put a couple pins in just to keep them together. And then we're going to stitch from outside to inside on the diagonal. Right across the pieces of fabric. So if you notice here, we did the diagonal to cut the pieces of fabric and then we are stitching on the diagonal to get our tape. We have attached four pieces of fabric together to make a bias tape and you do as many as you need to get the length that you need for your project now it's time to make our piping so we put the cord in the middle of the fabric and we fold the fabric over making sure that the fabric is equal on both sides and then we start stitching Stitch it as close as possible to the cord, all the while making sure that your fabric lines up on the left and the right, the back and the front. And it's also good, which I practice, holding on to the leading end of the piping. In so doing, it helps you to get it as the, the stitch as close as possible to the cord. There you have it. And we're making our custom piping. Now, if you see the difference, look how smooth this is check this one out it's all crinkly and that is because they did not use a bias tape they use a straight piece of fabric to do the piping when you use a bias tape it comes out all smooth and for sure your project will look better in the end now i was just using a zipper foot so i'll use a 
straight stitching foot and let you see how I do it when I use this foot to stitch my pipe in. So I basically push my needle over. I just put my stitching foot on top of the cord in the fabric to get the needle as close as possible to the cord. And then I just start stitching. There we have it. See, you can use your regular foot, sewing machine foot, to stitch your pipe in. It doesn't have to be a zipper foot. So this is how you make your own custom piping. It is rewarding when you see your project at the end. It, it is tedious to do because you have to go through and cut all your bias strips and then stitch them together and then apply the bias tape to the cord but in the end it's rewarding and after you have done it for a little bit it will seem even easier to do i hope this lesson helped if it did share give a thumbs up and give a comment below and don't forget when you subscribe to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos you take care now and I'll see you for the next lesson.